Now you can make this New Orleans classic in your own kitchen. Perfectly fried little pillows of dough showered in delicious sweet confectioner's sugar. These put the yay in being yay. <laughs> and boy, are they begging for a cup of coffee. They are. <laughs> Chicory if you have yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My Mardi Gras loon. That's Mardi Gras. Right. My, my carnival. Carnival Mardi Gras loon. <laughs> so I'm going to get started because we're going to make, and we're starting with dough, and we got to get our yeast um, yeah. activated. Yes. So I've got a cup and a half. Get right of, to the point. I'm getting to the point. We'll jabber later. Because yes. I know everyone loves the jabber. Okay, we've got a <laughs> A cup and a half of water that I just you can use hot tap water or you can nuke it but you want it to be between around 105 115 degrees because we've gotten that was a cup and a half now I've got two and a quarter teaspoons of active dried yeast and we okay. need to get that yeast doing its thing yeah and then we've got uh, this is a half a cup of sugar I'm just gonna give it just a little whisk in here I'm using my nice stand mixer here because we're gonna put together some dough and boy is it gonna be delicious and that <laughs> I love the smell of yeast once it starts to activate. All okay, right. show us what you're gonna do. All right, Leslie. so I'm, this is gonna be part of the dough, but I'm gonna do a little um, pre-mixing over here. I've got two eggs, uh, lightly, lightly beaten, beaten. <laughs> and then I have a cup of evaporated milk. This makes it a little sweet. I love. <laughs> well, isn't it evaporated milk? It's, it's not terribly sweet. I but thought it, it was. Well, wait, you're well, thinking of condensed, condensed milk. milk. Oh. Uh, but so you're gonna get like the larger can, like the 15 ounce can. You won't use quite use all of it. You're just gonna use a cup. And then I have some salt. It's a half, uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Of salt. You're gonna mix that together. Yes. Okay. I'm so going to mix you together. are going to mix that together, <laughs> whether you want to or not. Okay. We're gonna let this yeast. The, these guys are just gonna get real friendly with each other, and and the yeast is just gonna start to foam a little bit and get really excited to make dough. Yo, and this is so good. I good. love these. It's amazing. So it's going to take, this takes about 10 minutes, so we've probably got, what, another eight minutes to go. Okay, isn't that beautiful? I just... It's so foamy. It's magical. So it is. So it's the, a couple things you need to be aware of. So when you're you working with yeast, sometimes yeast, it just, it loses its oomph. And um, it, if it doesn't get foamy like this, a lot of, you'll see these little air bubbles that'll, that'll pop up. That's normal. You just smell the smell that it's, that it's, that it's really uh, be activating. Active. And if it doesn't do that, then you're going to have to throw it all out and run back to the store and get another package <laughs> because it's just not going to rise and you won't be happy with the results, but this did beautiful. Check the check the date on the package. So okay, so now what I'm what am I doing here? I'm going to put on my your dough hook. Oh no, not your dough hook. This oh, not my dough hook yet. I'm just I'm going to mix things your up. Paddle. So I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna paddle things up. So go ahead. Let's. You did such a good job of mixing that together. You got so it. So go ahead and pour that in there. We're going to get that well incorporated. Now I've you'll if you'll see here I've got two bowls here and this used quite quite a, <laughs> quite a bit of dough this is three cups of all-purpose flour here three cups of all-purpose flour here and, and then, then I've another got cup a little extra here because I always need a little more just to get the right consistency so now and get ready because you're gonna get a little poof on you that's okay but start adding this in gradually it's okay to get poofy while I, you're I'm, making I'm, beignets I, well that's more, <laughs> we always get poofy we never have to worry about that so tell them about our love affair with New Orleans oh gosh well you know, we, uh, we've gone to New Orleans several times. Many times. It's one of our favorite, favorite places to go. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's just, I don't know, the people, the culture, the, the music, the architecture. It's just. And of course, the food. And the hurricanes. No, the, the <laughs> that hurricanes. was early on. Oh, are you talking about the drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the actual hurricane. Oh, yeah. Well, we do not too. like that. No, we no. We could do without those. It's just a place that we love to go. Uh, we haven't been for a while. I, I actually used to work on a cruise ship years ago. That imagine him on a cruise ship. That's kind of hard to imagine. <laughs> Welcome right? aboard. He was really good, I was, actually. Though. I did my best impersonation of Julie McCoy from The Love Boat. Um, <laughs> yes, Lauren Toos. Lauren Toos. <laughs> and so, but uh, I would dock every week on a Saturday. While you're telling this fabulous story, Go I'm going to tell him I have got a quarter cup of shortening. This I love going with butter flavored shortening because why not? Yeah. But I'm just incorporating that in. Okay, keep but going. Yeah, so I dock every week in New Orleans uh, for like six months. Um, and er after I'd get off that ship, I'd s head straight to Cafe Du Monde to get myself some of that coffee. I tell you. And those beignets. Oh, so Beign good. I know. And there's something about, there is so you see so many other people there. I mean, and especially. And then I spend too much time 
time in the French Quarter. I know. Well, because the, you know maybe we spent too much time in the French Quarter the night before. And there's something about those beignets and that hearty chicory coffee oh. that just makes you feel so happy. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I was going to take a break, but I'll just go ahead. Now what we want to do is we want to turn oh, this you into, get your dough hook out. into a yeah. So maybe help me grab yeah. this and yeah. uh, bear with us, folks. We're um, under construction here. <laughs> so now we're going to we're going to put in our. That's okay if you okay. don't get it. Really I'll, 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 I'll. So um, you know, gra our grandmas, especially the ones down in the French Quarter, would have done this all by hand. But um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I've got a stand mixer and that helps. Yeah, but we, we will be needing. We are going to need it here in just a little bit. Oh. Okay. So now this is when you'll see. It's start. Hopefully they can see that, Wesley. Yeah, they can. Totally. Okay. Now you see, it's it's still pretty wet. This dough is going to be sticky, but I generally will add another anywhere all the way up to another half a cup until that dough starts to pull away from the really pull away from the the uh, the sides the bowl the sides of the bowl. Yeah. Oh, and see it there gets you go. poofy. poofy. Okay. So now you go. There we go. Now that's looking good. So we're going to let this go just for a little bit. Now normally I've got this on my dough setting, but like Wesley said, we're going to do it old school. Oh, you locked it. Oh, I locked it up. So we're going to do it old school and we are going to need this need ourselves. It. So oh. I'm going to get this kind of You ready for it? All right. There you go. Now you need some. There you got it all. Yes. You got it all, yeah. Chris. I, I'm telling you, this is not my first time at the old beignet <laughs> rodeo. Okay, make sure you want this one. I usually say lightly surface because this dough is so sticky. Um, I'm going to recommend that you do a, a quite a decent amount of dough, and we are just going to wow. roll this out onto our. Can I give you some more dough here? If you want to. There you go. And uh, kind of get your hands nice and floured and. Um, and then we're just going to start to knead it like this. And this is so much fun. Now, how long do you need it? I'm going to tell you, you're going to want to do this for 10 <laughs> minutes. And after 10 minutes, you're going to say, why did you tell me to do that? Because I'm about to collapse. <laughs> but it's a good workout. And I figure every minute is worth a beignet that you can eat. So yeah, it's it a little further. So it, that's why it's really good. See how it's already coming together? Yeah. So it all right. great. We're going to see you in 10 minutes, and I'm going to be a little sweaty. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. No, <laughs> actually, it's not that bad. You kind of it get, becomes a little hypnotic, you know, and then yeah, it's just a little workout. Yeah. So I've been doing that. I said ten minutes. You can really, you you know, when it starts to really just feel like beautiful dough. That looks like gorgeous. That. So that took me. I'm gonna say that was closer to eight minutes. All right, I've got a. I can I, tell by my heart rate it was about eight <laughs> minutes. So, so yeah, right. let me just if you when you're if, if it's still feeling a little sticky as you're doing this and it starts to stick a little, just add a little more flour underneath. Oh and, right, uh, right, right, right. Good to go. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. All okay. right, I've got a um, a, a bowl, bowl here that we're gonna proof this uh, dough in. I just want to spray it real quick, like I sprayed everything. Yeah. Yes, give it another good spray. Okay. Because we're gonna get this kind of oily all over. Now we're just gonna transfer it into your oiled bowl, and then just do that, just so it's we're good. Good and yeah, oily. Yeah, it's good. Doesn't need to be overly oily, and then um. Then we're going to cover it with plastic wrap. I'm right here. And you can do this the night before. Um, just what we're going to do is instead of putting it into a nice, warm, non-drafty place, like we're about to do, you can stick it in your refrigerator and just let it proof overnight. Proof just means it's going to it's going to rise. It's going to let that. I'm literally out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna, what's wrong with you? I know. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so out of shape. Anyway. Um, All right. That so is good. That is beautiful. How long for That's two gonna hours? Go, it can go anywhere from, I like to let it go for two hours, but you'll see if it, it's rising, it just needs to basically double in bulk. And that usually for me takes anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours. So we've got a proof setting on our oven that we're gonna stick it in. Hold on. There it is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at my dough. That is huge. I love it. Talk <laughs> about doubling inside. I know. And so that went about 90 minutes. I probably should have, because uh, this really did double. I, sometimes it's a good idea to uh, spray your plastic with a little uh, cooking spray, but that didn't stick. It's no, just that's awesome. Beautiful. That is nice looking dough. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to roll this out so we can uh, make some little pillow shapes and fry these babies up. We were getting so close. 
I, can... I love it. Those dogs are barking out there. Well, they're excited. Okay, so now we're just going to transfer yes. this out. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, now. Awesome. I feel like we're, I can hear them, you know, like the bands firing up and <laughs> walking down Bourbon Street. Whoa. Everyone's getting ready. Sorry. There's it's getting so crazy excited. out there. Sorry. <laughs> what? Flo's part thinks she's in the band out there. <laughs> okay. All right, here, I'm going to put this over so here. We're make these. Now, you can make this. I mean, okay, so we like to get these to about anywhere. It's hard to measure this exactly, but anywhere to about a quarter inch to a half inch thick. Uh, oh yeah, that is great. This is gonna make some nice beignets. That's so good. It makes a it makes a good um, amount of beignets for your hungry family, so that's good. Yeah. Invite the friends over. Invite the family over. This is one of those special occasion type things. All right, I'm All right, gonna cut these. He ladies. loves to cut these. So we're using a pizza cutter. You can use a knife. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of just get the sides off. Just a little, get a little. Square. Don't be too wasteful. But he likes. No, to cut the I'm gonna off. use those. And, and you can those use up those. Later. Yeah, you can All use right. that again, just All to right. make a nice rectangle there that makes it go. easier for All squaring right. these babies off. All right, you got that. Oops, uh, I should okay. probably cut. Deeper. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. All right. I don't think this. You need to do that one. Okay. Again. Okay. That dog out there. <laughs> People don't have bionic ears. They can't hear the dog. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right. Perfect. You okay. Got that one. All right. There. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now I'm gonna do kind of. Let's not, save this Not dough. quite square. Let's do this. There you go. You want to do them, the, I say the shape of a pillow, which is more rectangular. Yeah, yeah. And they will, they are going to puff up and they're going to make these beautiful, wow, you're doing big ones. Okay, that's yeah. all right. We're going to do some big beignets. Okay, uh, these Here, are more we'll probably... like mattresses, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a pillow? Wow. There we go. That's Perfect. giant. Watch okay. out. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so we, you see we've got our deep fryer. We've got it set to 350 degrees. If you don't have a deep fryer, you can do this in a nice big skirt, sturdy skillet with vegetable oil. Just be super, super careful with hot oil on your stove. And I didn't cut those very well. There. Perfect. All right. <laughs> and then um, you, if you have a candy thermometer, try and make sure your, your uh, oil is at 350 degrees because that's really important. Are All you right, ready to go. see me throw these in there? Are we not there doing we go. all of these? Okay. There you go. Give me a couple more. Okay. <gasps> Yum. These are going to be big. big. Four at a time. Yeah. So they don't Because I made them so large. <laughs> I know. They're huge. Wow. Okay. So what's going to be fun is these are going to poof up. They don't take real long. Yeah. Look, they're already... Look the, it's just amazing how they do that. And um, Oh, I think those are perfect size. Okay. I don't know what you're talking They're about. They're loon size, let's say that. <laughs> and um, th they only take mm, like a matter of minutes yeah. and then they're going to be I'm gonna ready. I'm going to flip them. Okay. <gasps> wow. Those are, so those are perfect size. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to lift this up real quick. Let everybody see that. Oh, there you go. Be we're going to let there. those drip. That is beautiful. All right. So okay, now, now the really fun part. So now we're going to, oh. like we said, we're going to shower them with uh, powdered is, sugar or convection. All right. So stop, I've got my stop. little bag. <laughs> that bag is stinky. What? That is too, oh. these are giant. You need a big bag. <laughs> Well, it's like, yes. well, you're right, they are. All right, fine. <laughs> like, those would have fit in that sandwich Well, that's true. Thing. I'd need one per bag. So, okay. All right, you got your tongue? Look, yes. It's like a trash bag. I love it. Okay. Get some powdered sugar in there. Okay, we'll put it. So, we got, you're going to need about, I'm going to say about three cups of powdered sugar. Dump it. So, yes. yeah, you're just going to dump it. And we're going to, all right, I'm going to save all some right. for, we've got lots <laughs> more to go. All right, I'm going to throw these in here. <gasps> yeah. And it's a good idea oh, to go ahead wow. and Look at those. put these in soon after you pull them out of the oil because if they're still a little wet, that means this powdered sugar that we put in stick there to it. is going to stick oh, to it. Oh, those are big Cafe Du Monde size. Look at those. I know, I know. <laughs> all, right. all right. So I'm going to shake it. We're not going to do the big reveal yet. Let's yes. batch, do another batch. I'm going to do all these up. Yeah, we're going to finish these up and then you guys, it's beignet time. <laughs> Oh, look at that. All right, last batch. Okay, All lift right. them up. Oh, yeah, I got to lift them Wow. Wow. Okay, I am All in right. the mood for a beignet the size of a city bus. Let's throw them. Oh, look at that big old bag full of powdered sugar. I know, that's great. So, okay, it's the last batch. Here, I just want to make sure everybody can see in that bag. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I got to. Wow. A lot of powder. You can't, you know, you can't. can't these are giant. I love them. I em. tell you, I. We could, we could, you know, if we, if our furniture gets ruined, we could use <laughs> these beignets. I'm gonna add a little more powdered sugar. Wow, I love your your couch. Here, Thanks. let me shake it. You show everybody what we did. 
Thanks, it's the beignet edition of the sofas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at this. I mean, talk about a mountain of beignets. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> like Look at how wonderful that is. But it is. I agree. These are, these are, I'm like Cafe Du Monde style. I think there's a hole in this bag. Well, be careful. Powdered sugar everywhere. I think, why don't, you know what? Let's save these for okay. a little, All right. for a these rainy are, day. These are fresh out of me. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to use my, my hands. Come on, clean. plop it over. Oh, wow. You want to? <gasps> I mean, the, you'll be, I don't know. Just, just in case. Yeah, just in cases. I mean, this is the way they oh, would serve it. Yes. At, at Cafe oh, yes. I've got my coffee here. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna do a little extra sprinkle. <laughs> just cause. Cause why not? You guys, this is so. That's what they do at the cafe. Doesn't it feel like you're on vacation? Oh, wow. So much fun to make okay. these. Do you want some? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> You've got enough on okay, there. Let's put some there. Too. Let's do that. Oh, okay. let's just get it everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Here, hold on. Okay, I got it. Mission accomplished. All right. Okay. Um, y'all. And then we'll just take a bite. That. You don't even need to like. A, you don't need a fork. Yeah. I'm just you just need it. your big old mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You guys, look at the. So billowy <laughs> and soft in the middle. <laughs> I got it all over my face. Yeah. There's no if in the butt. Wow. Oh. That's so good. Oh. I'm gonna do a plunge. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because these things only get better with coffee. Heavens to Betsy. Hold on, I'm doing a plunge too. Oh. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh. I'm having a a moment. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, is this a beignet or a beignet? <laughs> oh, it's a beignet. Yay! It's a beignet, and it's 100,000 percent Luna proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh. Fried dough gets him every time. Oh, forget about it. These are so much fun. I'm dunking me, again. I'm dunking again. These are so mm. good. You bring, you serve these to your guests. They'll probably throw beans mm. at you. Oh. That's how good they are. I'm a mess. <laughs> and a Did dress. You know what I said? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we love you so much. And if you're, if you know, if it's that time of the year you're watching this, happy Mardi Gras. Yes. If not, just make these. Just and, make them and have fun. And have a Mardi Yay. Gras day. <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs>